I actually Googled hackathons in Toronto and I came across this one and I thought it was so different than anything I've ever done before. The Globe and Mail and Stantec have partnered on a two-day hackathon around smart cities. The question around the two-day idea hackathon is how can we use technology to ensure Toronto is a thriving, livable and resilient city for all? I think what differentiates hackathons from conferences, conferences are very you know, linear in their progression through the topics, but they're also you sit and consume information. There's not much of a chance to interact or there's no ideas that, that really generate, you know, spontaneously. I think hackathons are the definition of how we collaboratively come together, whether municipalities or partnerships with private entities, to really bring great ideas forward. You guys managed to bring together uh, from the city, from academia, from uh, private uh, NGOs, and that's when um, opposing views happen, but that's when, um, that's when you get a very wide perspective. And frankly, it's like brain candy or brain juice, brain food, whatever you want to call it, gives these people a chance to think about ideas they might not have a chance to really engage in other than maybe reading the morning newspaper to get an idea that some of these ideas are out there. And it shows a lot of enthusiasm in the, sort of in the, the tech community, in the, uh, just in the greater community in Toronto about uh, trying to make a difference in our city. To me, we talked about Toronto, but you could apply it to Philadelphia or San Francisco or Vancouver as easily as you could Toronto. I have to say the energy in the room is pretty fantastic and when you have chefs from all parts of the world coming together and cooking something up together, it's hopefully going to taste pretty good. <laughs> <laughs>